Hello everyone, this is Pablo and in this session I'm, I will convert this mask in uh, something a little bit more terrific. As you can see this mask is plain orange, made with plastic and it costs about 2 euros. Ok, first of all I need some inspiration from the internet, so let's find pumpkin masks. As you can see here, all pumpkin masks use black and orange tones maybe uh, ivory or white or maybe blood like so okay now these are the tools that i will use all these colors romero the average and the cutter walking process Ok, the walking process will be divided in 7 steps. In the step 1 I will remove all the excesses from the mold. In the step 2 I will apply a primal layer using the black tone. In the third step I will use a very dark orange to cover all the mask. In the fourth step, the first light, I will use a dark orange from different degrees. The 5 step second light I will use a, a light orange and then in the step 6 we add some details uh, lights and blood and so last in the seventh step I will varnish all the mask. Okay let's go for it First step, I will remove all the excesses from the, from the mold using the cutter. Be careful and don't cut yourself. Once you remove all the excesses from the edges, you can touch and see how smooth is it with your fingers. Once you are done, you can pass for the next step. Ok, let's add the primal layer in the black tone. That's ready. Let's go ahead and doing the third step. Applying the base color with a dark orange. This layer will be applied gently, covering all, all the mask. Now, using the last mix that we use with the very dark orange, we will do a dark orange mix with a little bit of orange. We make zero glee in the airbrush. I will use this average flow improver to get a very soft and very good flow of the paint. see I have now mixed it with a little bit of clear orange and continues adding more layers with different degrees. Okay, this is cool better now, but not enough. Now I will use this net for adding a very cool effects on the mask. As you can 
can see here you got a cool, a cool effect like a burn or something like this now I will paint all the net with the black color because this is the net that we will glue inside of the mask now I will mix the orange with a little bit of white to have a very clear orange for giving more details and lights on the mask you have to apply a little bit of brush in it because the idea is to have more volume and in the parts that the light goes crashes this X27 trans, transparent red there is a Tamiya color to add some blood effects now I will mix a little bit of transparent red with black to have a, a dry blood Okay, with this toothbrush, I will split some some drops of blood on the mask using this technique that you see, and also just hitting over the mask to have some cool effects of this blood on the mask. Now we are almost done. Okay, now I'm going to apply the varnish layer. Now we can let it dry about 11 or 12 hours to get it very good dried. Now once it's dried I will glue the net that we removed at the beginning with some transparent glue. Okay, now with these elastic ropes I will add some tires in it to, to have the mask attached to the head.
Okay, we are done. Now the mask looks very, very good. And more terrific.